Now we're going to finish up with a couple of listener questions. We'll do these a bit rapid fire. And I've been getting some questions recently of stuff that easy to not think about, but um, that it's worth talking about every now and then. And uh, this week we're going to get a question about dart shirts. And this one comes from Kim Burriston. Uh, which pro uh, right now has the best dart shirt? And conversely, who has the worst? <laughs> Yeah, they, these are the questions that we want. These and the, and the walk on. This this is the, a big thing in darts. It's getting that walk on right, getting the, the shirt right. And we, we've spoken to a few players this year about that. Um, Aaron Beanie with his Pierre Cardin polo shirt that he wore at Q School, and uh, you've heard earlier from Darren Pennell the all important question: What's his walk on going to be for his, his European Tour debut this weekend? For me, though, it's, it's, it's pretty hard to pick out a best one because I think a lot of them they are quite similar. They they use similar manufacturers and they are quite similar in in design i think even peter wright he's maybe shied away a little bit from going full out on his outfits you you think back to that run that he had to the 2014 world final it weren't just the trousers he was going all out on it was the shirts as well and some uh some some great images i remember that the final as well was one of my favorites so i, I don't really have a, a favorite at the moment i don't think there's I, I did like dennis Priestley, the one that he had back in the day with the the black and the red stripes um like like Dennis the Menace and I remember when I was I was playing back back then when he was still playing I had a, a similar polo shirt with that and okay I didn't play as well as him but whenever I, I was playing darts someone would say oh that's the, the Dennis Priestley colours in terms of a worse shirt oh, I've got to say and I don't think going price wears it as often nowadays but Daryl Gurney with the the fake abs on on the front of the shirt I, I do think they look a, a little bit silly but yeah it's a difficult one for me I, I do think a lot of them do look similar but if I had to say a favourite I'd probably go with Peter Wright and least favourite, Daryl Gurney. Yeah, we were talking off air and I jokingly said that I might say the best is Peter Wright and the worst is Peter Wright because he has so many of them. Um, even if it's fewer than it has been, um, some of his are awful, but some of them are really good. Uh, but yeah, I'm more of an old school type of uh, dart shirt person. Obviously, you mentioned Aaron Beanie's polo shirt. I have no problem with that. I'm a Mark Walsh fan. And Mark Walsh was all about the simplicity. Um, some of the other, you know, old school players like Steve Beaton wearing the same thing he's always been wearing. Uh, but there's also some of the old school ones that are pretty awful. So, and Andrew Gilding as an example. Uh, but some, you know, other ones that I like, uh, Justin Pipe one, um, very simple and classy as uh, usually the white, gray, and black. Um, and I don't know, I'm a fan of that. I think it, I think it looks good. I think it looks professional, not too flashy, but he's not too flashy of a person. But of the ones that might be a little bit more flashy, I'm a, I am really like John Henderson's shirt. Well, all the ones he's ever worn. Um, with the, but especially the one with the Scottish flag and like the lightning bolts coming off of it. It just, it fits him so well because uh, he's an, he, he can be an electric player at times and he's such a nice guy. Um, and it just, it it look it embold, I think it emboldens him and it makes him look like a bigger and better player than he might think he is otherwise and he needs that little bit of boost um, and I think his shirt gives it to him. Uh, worst, I'll just stick with Andrew Gilding. I know this is going to mean Dan Dawson is never going to listen to the show again and is going to block <laughs> us, but <laughs> that is just an awful shirt. Granted, it is so awful that at the same time it is iconic. Um, so I'll go worse for Gilding, but. Also, oh, and I'll add one more. Um, Stuart Kellett's uh, shirt that he wore at the World Championships with the snowman. That might be the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs>